So alongside the Pixel 6 series, Google unveiled an updated wireless charger designed for use with these latest smartphones. A delayed launch meant that the Pixel Stand 2nd Gen was actually not available until a month after the release of the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. Well, is it worth it? Let's find out in our full review of the second generation Pixel Stand. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be notified about all our future uploads. So right up top, the biggest compliment I can pay the Pixel Stand 2nd Gen is that it feels more like a Nest product than any other Google Pixel accessory before. And while a charger should always focus on utility first, it doesn't mean that design should be an afterthought. It reminds me substantially of the Nest Wi-Fi router, and it similarly blends into your home decor surroundings rather than standing out and screaming, I am a tech product. The pastel green and chalk white colors are pretty muted, but on that I found it really did suit the Pixel 6 in the Sorter Seafoam and the Pixel 5 in the Sorter Sage kind of perfectly and it blended in really nicely. The actual device itself has a soft touch rubberized texture that somehow feels premium, while the curved shape does have some added utility that you might not initially notice. With a curved shoulder and kind of rounded rump, the Pixel Stand is perfect for resting your hand on almost pinning your smartphone to the back of it whilst using your thumb to interact with the display. And I like to think of this as akin to hugging your Pixel 6 or one of your smartphones attached, but it's been a surprising but lovely interaction method that while seemingly unintentional, kind of feels just natural. Now, this itself does pose its own problem as the cream or that chalk color does kind of pick up grease and dirt from your hands over time, but so long as you do wipe it down regularly, it shouldn't build up too much. I did actually find that dust builds up faster on the Pixel Stand 2nd Gen. This could be a combination of static and that texture itself, or just the fact that you're interacting with the stand itself, probably more so than you would a regular charger. The rubberized texture though, that does mean that the Pixel Stand doesn't actually slip or slide around, even on smooth surfaces. It seems to feel solid and stable. That's even before you put your phone on that angled plinth. And this angle upwards from the base has a little bit of a soft curve, it does mean you can rock the Pixel Stand forwards and backwards with excessive force, but the weight of a smartphone or even a pair of headphones won't cause it to topple over, so that's a big benefit. Once you slap your smartphone onto the Pixel Stand though, it is stable and safe. As I mentioned, that texture at the bottom does effectively grip your phone into position. And you'll notice at the back of the stand itself, there is a small vent and a slight concave section, as this is actually to allow airflow from that new internal fan. I tried to rattle the charger when it was unplugged to see if I could hear those fans inside when it's not powered on obviously, but it's a sturdy and well-made hunk of plastic and rubber. So as I mentioned, when you do have a phone on the charger, it's nice and stable, but it's positioned at the almost perfect angle so that you can see it when at a desk. You can kind of see everything on your screen without having to adjust your seating position. One of the biggest bonuses here is that the Pixel Stand 2nd Gen actually comes as three independent and separately usable components. There's a Pixel Stand itself, there's a 1.5 meter USB-C to USB-C cable and the same 30 watt rated power brick that you'll need to access those fast charge speeds that can be bought separately for your Pixel 6 smartphone. Costing this $79 package out at the retail prices, the cable costs around $20 from the Google Store and the charger $25. That leaves the Pixel Stand sitting around the $34 mark, which isn't all that drastic for a first party accessory, that isn't just a standard charger as it adds a number of neat functions and features alongside working as you'd expect as a wireless charger. Because of that, most people won't usually buy this slightly expensive charger without expecting a little more than just fast top up speeds. Luckily, the Pixel Stand 2nd Gen is loaded with extras that simply won't be, you won't be able to obtain or utilize with third party alternatives. Naturally, Google Pixel owners do get the best deal here as your phone is able to transform into something akin to a mini Nest Hub smart display, but with all of the smartphone features intact here. One massive frustration though for anyone with a brand new Pixel 6 or 6 Pro is that unless you have sideloaded the recently pulled December 2021 update, then you'll not actually be able to use the Pixel Stand 2nd Gen to its full potential. Not only that, if you don't actually complete the on-screen setup procedure that's part of the Pixel Stand app, charging will be limited to a lower rate than the full throughput at 21 watts for the Pixel 6 and 23 watts for the Pixel 6 Pro. And at least at the time of this review being published, this means that only a select volume of Pixel 6 series owners can even take advantage of this brand new Pixel Stand. 
It's as frustrating as it is confusing, but while you might temporarily be unable to access some new features on your phone, it will still charge, as we mentioned, at a lower rate. On the Pixel 3 through the Pixel 5, you can't charge at these faster rates available to the Pixel 6 series, but you'll still be able to get access to the new features. That said, if you have updated or the January 2021 patch has arrived and you're watching this video, the Pixel Stand app will launch into a setup process the first time you put your phone on it with the ability to link your Google Photos account, add smart home and assistant controls. And this is where the vast majority of people should make their decision on whether the Pixel Stand second gen is worth picking up for them. Those with no assistant powered smart home tech or even accessories will probably miss out on some core functionality and I think you might want to give this a miss. Google calls this thing quick controls, which is just a way to quickly access a small shortlist of up to four devices when you want to activate that display. You can do things like add thermostats, lights, and all kinds of devices here too, including in my case, robot vacuum cleaners for quick activation and deactivation at a glance. When you do activate the display while your Pixel is on the wireless charger, you'll also get access to media controls above these smart home controls, which itself is especially useful. You can also quickly toggle the charging speed and enable the dedicated bedtime quiet mode, which should lower the volume of those fans for when you're sleeping. These options though are only available when you activate the display with a single tap. I personally though have really enjoyed the photo frame feature that is also present on the original Pixel stand. A swipe right when this is activated just shows a slideshow mode and it's an added bonus that provides a little bit extra of extra utility than a standard smart display would alone. I must say though, I haven't personally used the sunrise alarm feature that many people out there do really enjoy that gradually just lights up your screen up to 15 minutes before your alarm is due to go off. And there's a very important reason for this. But that said, this option is present if you do want to use it. Adaptive charging also seems to work just fine here too for anyone worrying if their Pixel Stand 2nd gen is affected or will be affecting the smart charging method which is available to Pixel devices. While I don't have the Pixel Stand 1st gen to compare to, I am aware that the charge speeds are quite a marked improvement here on the 2nd gen and you'll cut charging times in half with this new model. Plus, on top of that, it actually works better with a number of other made by Google products, including the wireless charging capable Pixel Buds from 2020. There are also a couple of charging modes for you to choose from here that you can switch to at any time, all of which affect the inbuilt cooling fan, which is included. There's the optimized mode, which will adjust charge and fan speed based upon your device usage. There's a max mode, which simply charges your Pixel as fast as possible and will pump up the fans to the highest speed and then a quiet mode. And this is the slowest charging method that lowers the fan speed so that you literally cannot hear them spinning while your phone is charging. You can actually check out a quick test of these sound and volume levels here, which isn't exactly accurate, but at least gives you an indication of what you can expect. I have to say that when using the Pixel Stand 2nd Gen, I actually found out that the on-screen charging time indicators that you'll see on the bottom of your Pixel screen were fairly accurate, but not always. For instance, in some cases, my Pixel 6, it would quote longer charge times than it would take to hit that 100% battery percentage level. All in all though, it did seem to take around two hours and 10 minutes on average to go from under 10% to 100% capacity when using that max charging speed. That said, I do tend to charge little and often rather than from zero to full. So I left the Pixel Stand in the default optimized setting just to grab a little extra juice as and when I needed it throughout the course of a day. And I think this might be the best option for many people out there who want to leverage sound versus charge speed. And this leads me to my outright biggest gripe with the new Pixel Stand, the addition of that fan. On the one hand, I understand that it's necessary to prevent your Pixel from overheating. But on the other hand, it is loud in that max mode and instantly noticeable even in quiet settings in environments which you wouldn't have much audio. I had the same problems with the OnePlus Warp wireless charger, which I found just as loud and those rattling fans when in full flow do really do distract and it's something that does make me opt to not use it as often as I probably would. My other concern is that I'm actually unsure if the fan actively cools your phone enough to make a major difference. Any cooling though is bound to be better than no cooling as heat will undoubtedly degrade your smartphone battery faster. 
That doesn't mean I'm not personally concerned just how this will affect the longevity of my Pixel 6. Your phone will still feel warm to the touch after an extended period on the Pixel Stand 2nd Gen, even with the fans at that maximum setting. What's interesting to note here is that the fans actually do work with non-Pixel phones, but you won't be able to adjust the settings of these. You will hear the fans kick in and wind down as charging speeds do cap out at 15 watts with compatible devices. That does make this a neat accessory for multiple device households alongside a regular Pixel hardware. In essence, I think that the Pixel Stand 2nd Gen is not exactly a killer accessory. It's a good charger though with a simple and muted design that works nicely with compatible made by Google smartphones. If you can deal with potentially loud fans, then it's the perfect companion for a brand new Pixel 6 or 6 Pro. Those of you out there though with the original Pixel Stand might not want to upgrade as the differences here are fairly minimal unless you simply must have faster charge speeds and that new Pixel Stand hub. To me, the Pixel Stand 2nd Gen is an ideal alternative to a Nest Hub in the right environment though. For most people, it isn't probably the best bedside companion as the fan noise, even with those dedicated modes, could be considered too loud for when you're trying to rest. As a desk accessory though, the new Pixel Stand is a compelling product if a little pricey. We'd love to know though what you think of the Pixel Stand 2nd Gen. Is it overpriced or have you even managed to pick one up for yourself or are you thinking of doing so? Let us know down in the comments sections below. But until next time, this is Damon with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.